Hey guys, Mikey here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're asking the question, is it better to build or to purchase an AR-15? Let me start off by saying, either way, just go out and get an AR-15, you won't regret it. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll talk specifically here about pros and cons of both. So one of the pros to building an AR-15, and one of the main reasons I chose to build my very first AR-15 was customization slash getting it just right. What I mean by that is there's inevitably things when you purchase an AR-15 off the shelf that you'll want to change. One perfect example of this is definitely going to be the charging handle. When uh, uh, most, I won't say all, but when most manufacturers build their AR-15s, they include a standard mil-spec charging handle with that mil-spec uh, latch. That thing is sharp, it kind of hurts fingers, uh, it's not easy to grab onto, especially under stress. And why add that level of difficulty to the manual of arms when there's so many better options out there? So most people I know, myself included, when purchasing a AR-15 off the rack, we're already including the cost of upgrading the charging handle. This is a BCM Gunfighter Mod 4 charging handle, uh, so it's larger, and also it's got this extended latch, it's a medium latch, um, that you can just get it and rip it, and it works very well. So I'm very pleased with that, and that's kind of the one I like to stick to. Raptor makes some awesome ambidextrous charging handles. Um, those are very cool. We have those on uh, VC Defense if you're interested. Um, it's just, it's, so there's, there's a lot of other options out there just for that one part alone. Now imagine you want a different muzzle device. Maybe you want a different trigger. You want to drop a Geisley or, or, or you know, CMC trigger in there. Well, those are all added costs on top of purchasing the AR-15. If you were to build it, that's kind of the pro of it, is you just build it the way you want it from, from the ground up. So I never had to deal with some mil-spec charging handle. I don't, I don't own one, okay? I, I only have the ones I like, and that's that. So it, that, that kind of saves on cost and frustration. Um, so there you go. Also, you get to learn more about AR-15s when you're building them. What I mean by that is you kind of have to. You don't really get a choice. You have to learn more about the AR-15 platform if you're going to be building your own AR-15. You have to learn about different gas system lengths. You have to learn about what's compatible and what's not compatible. You know, piston versus uh, DI, all that kind of stuff. You know, um, mil-spec you know, versus you know, match, stuff like that. There's, just, there's different tolerances and different manufacturers. So. You get to learn so much about this stuff, and the reason I think it's a pro is because when something does go wrong, inevitably, if you are using your, your rifle uh, the way you should be, you're going out and training, something will go down. Something will fail on the firearm, whether it's a manufacturer defect, whether you just ran it so hard and so dirty it gummed up somewhere, whatever the case may be, something will go wrong. And you will have a better understanding of how the firearm works and how to diagnose and problem solve that issue. So I think that's definitely a, a, a pro. How about some pros for buying an AR-15? Obviously it can be cost saving if that's the way you like it. If you like AR-15's bare bones, you like that keep it simple, stupid, you know, A2 flash hider, you know, uh, seven inch rail, you know, you, you like that, you know, Black Hawk down militant M4 looking ARs. I know they use 727s, blah, blah, blah. But if you, if you like that standard military look, um, uh, then you know that, that's definitely a, a pro for you to just go ahead and purchase one because you can get them for as low as six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, you know, and, and then you're done. Another pro to purchasing an AR-15 versus building an AR-15 is going to be peace of mind in the quality and the build. The people who have been, uh, the reputable manufacturers anyway, the people who have been building AR-15s have been doing it for a very long time. They have a lot of experience. Their gunsmiths are highly qualified, highly educated. Their quality control is, is usually very, very high. So you, you have peace of mind that things going to function well. If you build your own AR-15, uh, you know, especially when I built my very first one and I went to pull the trigger for the very first time, I was like, eh, I hope this works. I hope I got my gas tube and my gas block lined up just right, you know, all that kind of stuff. And of course it did work because I did my research and I did it right. But, but uh, you definitely have the peace of mind of knowing it was built right. It's good to go. Another pro for purchasing an AR-15 right off the rack is going to be a warranty. A lot of manufacturers that manufacture AR-15s include some type of limited or lifetime warranty. That means anything goes wrong with the gun, it's not your problem. It's the manufacturer's problem. You send it into them, they fix it, you get it back, or they'll replace the rifle if it's just completely junk. So that's, that's definitely a pro. 
Also a pro to purchasing an AR-15 is gonna be that there's no learning curve. You don't have to learn about that kind of stuff. Uh, you don't have to learn about gas, you know, block alignment and uh, the, you know, the to different tolerances of mil spec and should it be mil spec or commercial buffer tubes and what, you know, what, what torque spec do I need to have the barrel nut on? You don't have to learn about any of that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're, if you're someone who's not into doing that, maybe you just want one for fun, going around shooting at the range, all that kind of stuff, and that's it. Well, you don't have that learning curve and you don't really need to worry about it because you have that warranty. So, you know, purchasing an AR-15 definitely uh, gets that in its category. So there's a few cons for building I didn't mention a little bit earlier, and, and I'm basically just going to say this. It's the cost of tools, okay? I built my very first AR-15 with nothing more than tools I had lying around and an AR-15 wrench, uh, one of the builder's wrenches. That tool is 40 bucks to 100 bucks, depending on who you're purchasing, purchasing it from. And uh, it's very handy to have around. And if you ever plan on servicing your weapon, stripping it down, cleaning it in areas that, you know, every once in a while do need cleaning or replacing, maybe your buffer tube bends or something like that, whatever the case is, um, you'll need an AR-15 armorer's tool or armorer's wrench. Uh, so that is not a cost right there. Now, I, don't ask me how. I couldn't even explain it to you. But when I, <laughs> when I built my very first AR-15, I didn't have... Um, vice blocks for the upper or vice blocks for the lower. Somehow I was able to stick it between my legs and tighten on things and it just worked. But needless to say, those are also tools you will need to properly and safely build an AR-15. So there's an added cost for tools. But other than that, those are pretty much the reasons to build or to purchase an AR-15 right off the rack. Uh, either way, go out and get an AR-15. Uh, if you liked the video, please click like and subscribe to the channel for other cool videos we got coming your way. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching.